All right, y'all. We got it out. That whooped my ass, y'all. All the other wires is just wires, man. Shit. What's up you guys, man? It's your boy Real to Real Man back in here with another video. Hey man, say man, hey man, it's your boy man, Real to Real. Y'all already know what it is. Now I'm gonna tell y'all right now, man. Y'all gonna be seeing me look rough for about a good month, month and a half. I ain't gonna look too rough. I'm gonna try to do myself a little decent, but I'm done going to the barber shop for a minute. I'm just I'm finna I'm finna lock in, finna zone in, and I got a lot of stuff that I'm finna be doing. So when the time coming I just really need my haircut. I might do it myself, might just buy my own clip or stuff like that. But as I was saying, I'm about to lock in. Today gonna be the day we start on the cutlass build. Like this gonna take a long time. I ain't gonna say too long, but it's gonna take a minute to do everything that I wanna do. And I'm not gonna rush it for nobody. I'm not finna go over and beyond. I'm finna do everything to my standards, not to everybody else's standards. This a car I'm finna build for myself. Shout out to my dog Light with the Ikes. Shout out to him. Make sure y'all go subscribe to this channel. Shout out to Swag Gatsby TV. I mean, Swag Gatsby, I was finna say TV. <laughs> but yeah, make sure y'all go subscribe to them for what they've done. They motivated me. They said something to me at the car show that gonna stick with me really forever. The thing is, when you building something, it got your personal touch to it. When you buying a car that come from a dealership, you ain't got no attachment to it. And that's like buying a car already put together, putting some wheels on it, wrapping it. I still customized it, done my thing to it, and still gonna do more. I'm holding everything off from that now, so I can go ahead and start on my old school. So yeah, that's what it's gonna be. I'm finna start on my cutlass. I know what direction I'm trying to go with and go in. I already ordered some parts. I already been ordering parts. First thing first, man, I'm finna head up here to Walmart. Give me another toolbox because the toolbox that I have is not the tools. People was taking my tools and stuff. Getting a new toolbox. Got to lay my stuff out real good. Finna get some more power tools. I'm not by Harbor Freight right now, so I can't go to Harbor Freight and grab the other tools that I need. But one day next week, I will go by there and grab some more tools that I need, that I'm gonna be needing to get through a lot of this because it's gonna be ongoing like crazy. And like I say, you guys, hey, trial and error, that comes with building a car. So your boy finna be doing a lot of this stuff himself. I'm not finna be going to no shops. I'm not finna be doing this and that. If I need questions or help on anything, I'll call up my guy Jeff, you know, and he'll get me through what I need to get through. And if I have any other problem, shit, I just call up somebody that I know that done done their own car. That's just what it is. So what we finna do right now, I'm finna head off to Walmart. Go buy this new toolbox. Go get some power tools out of here too that I think I'ma need, that I've been in need for. And yeah, go on with this build, man. Hope you guys excited. This what y'all been wanting, man. Y'all been wanting the cutlass build and y'all been wanting the box build. I told y'all what I'm gonna do with the box. The box gotta go out of town. Gotta go to Shreveport. Well, really, I didn't tell you guys because my video had ended up losing all sound and I had static through all my videos. So I deleted two videos and I kept half of one video. So that left me on the day-to-day -day thing where I upload and post. But I don't know if I'm gonna upload and post because I'm gonna be tired and I ain't gonna wanna do that and I ain't gonna wanna give y'all no non-quality video. Cause I've been editing all my videos lately and I see you guys been liking the edits. I'm gonna keep doing it. But it's kinda hard to edit when you're building a car. It's less edits up in the video. These ain't gonna be y'all random videos on the cutlass build. Most of the time, if I'm doing other stuff, I can give you guys the edits. But while I'm doing the cutlass build, I ain't gonna give you guys too much editing because I want you guys to be able to learn with me. So we're gonna get through this together and I'm gonna catch you guys in a minute. Peace. I done got to the house from 
Walmart. I actually picked up a lot of stuff from there to where I can get started and I can do what I have to do to go ahead and get my bills and stuff done. Got a lot of mo tools and I'm gonna try to get more organized with my tools. Make sure I ain't letting nobody use my tools this time. I just went and bought some more that gonna get me through what I'm trying to do, this build that I'm doing. So I just did a little pickup from Walmart real quick. Got me another light because I be using that halogen junk and that junk, it, 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 it takes off so much. It, it produces so much heat and I don't like being around it. So I got the LED one and then we got this, man. Caught that junk on sale too, man. Ain't nothing like a little sale, man. $19.99. So this one I'm gonna be using to keep all my screws and stuff in. I'm gonna have to take some tape, which I got my tape right here. Take tape. And every time I break some down up in the cutlass, I'm going to put it in its own compartment and I'm going to write on it where it came from. Not the size of none. Just say dashboard screws, radio screws, air conditioning screws, fender screws, front clip screws, hood screws, stuff like that. So I'm going to be using this for that, which y'all can see. Just got a compartment. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So it came with three of them because I was just going to get like one for like one. But since this one was $20 for three of them and you get a toolbox at the same time so you can secure them and they just won't be all over the place yeah and then i got a little mini toolbox i got a big toolbox big ass toolbox and it's over jeff house so i'm gonna have to try to pick that up when i get back in town because i'm gonna be leaving going out of town again but you know we grinding still i'm finna jump on this and what we're gonna tackle today i know a lot of you guys been wondering when real when you gonna touch the colors real when you gonna touch the colors bro when you gonna do the colors that's all i get in my DM all the time. Cutlet Chevy, Cutlet Chevy, Cutlet Chevy. The Chevy will be going to Shreveport. This is a new setup, you guys. Hope you guys like the quality on it. You know what I'm saying? It's real, real sharp and crisp again from the new camera look. So y'all know how they go. The new cameras be having you on point. So what we gonna do, first tackle, man, we gonna take out this dashboard. Cause as you guys seen, the dash is messed up and cracked up. Yo boy, we gonna fix that thing ourselves. We gonna fix that thing ourselves. So. You know, first step is just taking it out, removing it. I got a light so I won't just be up in there in the dark. I cleaned this thing out so I got everything all clean, nice and clean and stuff. It was a lot of dirt and stuff on that floor right there. I got most of that stuff up. And yeah, man, I'm going to remove this seat because I don't need it in here no more. I only put the seat in just so I can move with the car and have something to sit on while I'm moving the car back and forth and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get down to business. Go ahead and break this thing down. We got a whole bunch of most stuff. Y'all gonna have to stay tuned, man, to the rest of the videos. We got a lot of stuff going on. Got parts and stuff I already ordered. And I'm, I, I, I got parts and stuff saved too. Cause I'm not gonna order no parts until I get to that part. Cause I'm not just gonna be throwing away money and just having stuff just sitting like all these parts right here. I got a whole lift kit for 1500 ram that's real wheel drive i'll probably give that to somebody or something i got all my part i got all them parts is for the obs truck so them parts is for the cutlass these parts is for the cutlass i be buying so much stuff this you and my performance man yeah yeah okay okay yeah it's for my cutlass because i got all the rest of the stuff on here already they already on the front end oh y'all didn't know y'all didn't know yeah, man, if dude wouldn't have messed up my stuff, it'd have been even better. He made my stuff rust out. I redid my whole front, like, in my car set up for two years, man. That dude shop outside, man. My boat's rusted and all that type stuff. So that's why we're going to break this thing down and we're going to redo everything. I'm not doing this stuff to nobody else's standards. I'm doing it to mine. So if you got anything you want to say, I'm not listening to it. I know it's stuff way people, everybody else out there doing this. But, hey, this is my car and this is my money. I'm going to do it the way I need to do it to stay within my budget. I didn't want to budget on this car, but I'm actually going to budget all my cars because that's just nonsense to say I don't have a budget for a vehicle, which I don't want to put over a hundred some thousand up in this vehicle, which I know is going to touch that kind of easily, but it is what it is. Y'all know I got a motor and trans already. This car won't be getting that motor and trans. Motor and trans will be getting put in this one. If I got to redo the motor and stuff so I can add boost to it, add boost because this car is going supercharged no matter what. Both of my vehicles going supercharged, but the box is staying the way it is. It runs and drives good. I don't need to compete with nobody. I'm just staying in my own lane. I'm just going to 
put my wheels on and I'm put my music in the car and I'm a ride, man. Um, might get it painted and stuff like that. You know, I gotta get the Tierra grill. Gotta get the Tierra grill for this. But I, I, like I say, all that stuff is coming after I know it's done from the paint shop. Got the motor in it and all that type stuff. So, you know, we, we just gonna be working, so. First thing first, man, we're gonna take out this. I'm gonna take that out. We're gonna take the seat out. Looking for them all over the place. I don't know what type of boat in What size, don't really matter. Not saying this gonna be in y'all car, but they just stuck one in it so it can sit down. But it's a 13. That's why I said, people, I should have got a whole nother ratchet set too. Uh, it takes me more time to find tools than it is to do the job most of the time. So I just gotta get my stuff more organized, man. Come over here and use your tools and don't put them back. Like I said. That's what I'm talking about right there. The size that I need, I don't have. So now I'm gonna have to use one of the other sides. What's 13 equivalent to? Oh, let me see. Sucks, but here's what it is, bro. Now I gotta get a whole nother ratchet set. I'm just gonna buy a full new tool set. Nobody touching it though. Nobody touching it. It was only in there on one boat anyway, so. The front seat heavier than a motherfucker, though. I know that. Front seat heavier than a bit. Now, we can get down in this thing. So, I should have moved that because that's going to be in the way, but it is what it is. You're going to need you gonna need a 7. You're going to need a 10, which I got them all right here. 7, a 10. I need a screwdriver. Gonna need an extension for you if you use a power tool. I'm gonna use a power tool because I'm gonna try to make it go fast as I can and uh, go ahead and get it over with. And first off, we're gonna take this off right here. We're gonna start just removing everything. It's just a screwdriver. Don't lose your screws, y'all. Make sure we put it in our screw box. Everything that's dealing with the steering column, we're gonna put it up there. Uh, I think that would be the only gonna get the popping knees off. So I have some panel poppers and stuff. So just start working it. This already broke. I'm gonna order a new one in a way. All that type stuff. So the radio probably pops out with this one. That's how I think that's how they end up breaking it by trying to take this out. I think that's how they broke the dash. But, I mean, it's fragile. You just pull it out. It ain't gonna hurt or nothing. Uh, it's supposed to come out. Take the car out of gear. Alright, this one. But they got that hooked on too. Come on, don't, don't get to working. Man. Oh, man. I see what happened. It clicked in the back. I clicked through it. Uh, I'm gonna need a flathead or just a screwdriver. I'm just gonna bend it. It is what it is. Actually, I'm gonna take the needle nose pliers, get it with the needle nose pliers. All right, fuck it. I just broke it on off. I ain't got time for that. Sometimes, y'all, if you ain't got time for it, you ain't got time for it. It looked like they straight wired it. You're not supposed to straight wire a radio. Just stop being cheap and go buy the dash kit. People be wondering why they music be shortening out on them. People are always wondering why they music shortening out on them. Your music is shortening out on you because everybody want to wear their shit like this. Man, that's so dumb. They cut the damn harness, man. Tripping. Everything in here is black tape. Knowing it's going to short, that's why people be having extortion and all that type stuff. But we're going to leave it all 
just like it is, wired like that until we go through the whole car because we're going to redo most of all this stuff. So, and now, so y'all don't lose none of these screws. See, I'm not worried about this because I'm going to get a replacement when I order my Vince's Air because I'm going to do the Vince's Air in here. Got to unplug this. Plug the light out. Y'all do know we trying to take the whole dash out, so. All right, that's all. Take that off. All right. I got the glove box. All right, let that fall to the flow. That's the only way I'm gonna get this up out of here. I gotta take that off. All right, I'm gonna take out the bolts under the dash. One. Two, three, four bolts. It might be too long of that extension. Alright. And there's two right here. like some rivets or something in it. Dang, somebody rivet the glove box or it came like, I don't know, let me see. So since I can't actually get to it, uh, to the, and without breaking it, I'm just gonna take the whole glove box apart. Take the whole thing apart. All seven millimeters. Cause there's screws behind here that can get the door off, but this is stopping it. I can get them in the back back there. There you go. Came straight out. Got the dash, I mean got the glove compartment off. Now clip up under here right here. You wanna unplug this. Uh, this thing's an old, this is all the vacuum lines and stuff. Unplug that. Uh, got some wires right here. Undo this from this clamp. Got a bolt back there, a seven. That's way back there in the middle. Gonna take that down. Put that with the dash bolts. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> well, the actual thing right here got it out. So I'm gonna have to remember. This little cover out of the way. Got that screw out. All right, so we're gonna need our panel popper again. Hold on. Cause I haven't gotten this out all the way yet. Oh, it's a little clamp up there. It's a, it's a clamp up here that I gotta get to and Try to remove it. All right, that's why I need my head light it. That's why I bought the headlight. Make sure y'all get y'all a headlight, man. Say you some headache. All right. Now I can see. And this little thing, y'all, that I'm trying to get, y'all not want to break it. Show y'all what I'm talking about. Child, that's what I'm talking about right there see it's hard to do this with this right here yeah take that off and I think my camera ain't focusing that right there on that wire right there at the top right there right there as y'all see yeah all right y'all we got it out that Whoop my ass, y'all. 
That shit whooped my ass, getting that one thing off. That shit whooped my ass. When I say whoop my ass, I mean whoop my ass. All right, y'all, man, we're gonna move on. Gonna move along. Uh, we're gonna have to get this right here. I have to get the steering column dropped down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out these bolts up under here. Uh, it's two big bolts. Just gotta drop that down. Yeah, it's two bolts right there. Uh, one, two. I think they are 13. Let me see, I think it's a 13. I don't even know if I was recording, but I took the two bolts out on this side and this side. I mean, I ain't finna, I ain't gonna be taking y'all step by step because I gotta really get this done before nightfall and um, I gotta get to it. So, y'all just keep up with me. We're taking these out. They just pop out, y'all. Try not to break it, but they pop out easy. Same with this side. The dash so brittle. You gotta try not to break your dash. Why are you doing this? This was already broke. So, yeah. The dash is just out of there, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. But, I'm about to, uh, see this stuck in there. But, most of the time, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. On stuff like this, you can find this stuff on eBay. People be selling this stuff all the time, so. See how this one broke from behind? That because it was already broke. As y'all see, it was already broke, so. Yeah, I ain't worried about stuff like this. I can get this stuff easy. I can go to junkyard and get this. And as y'all know, we got the Dakota Digital Dash in here. Uh, I know y'all probably ain't even know that, but let's get these screws out, take this out so we can get to the Dakota Digital and take it out so it's one ain't nothing in this one two there's only two boat i mean two screws in that so only two screws in it so get this take them out oh it's a seven sorry I forgot I had to put that six in. Change it back to the seven, which is probably already a seven on here. Nah, that's a little bit bigger than the seven. We got the seven on there now. Yeah. Pop that on off. It's just come right off. See how this stuff just falling apart? Like that. So, you're probably going to find another one of these on eBay other than trying to repair this one. I actually, I actually got another one. I got a dash cover, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. I think I'm just going to repair my own dash. I'm going to probably do that on a video. We're probably just going to repair the dash because I think it's savable. I can save it. Bundo, I can save it. I can probably put some foam on it, shape it up, and then bundle it. Yeah. So I probably can save this too. I really can, but I don't want to save this because there's so many broken pieces off it. So I want to replace this right here. I'm going to replace this.
is it's unscrewing. That ain't even tightening no more. Unless we behind it. Oh, it is screwing. There we go. Oh, that Dakota Digital looking good. That boy thought you had some bands. Saint the Forgiato and made him dance. Hey, you know, hey, bro, he hit me with that shit from my faded fool. Motherfucker smell like mud. No, he got some mud. I know he got it booming, man. Hey, luxury. Yeah, 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 yeah. MK. Now we come. This shit hard at time, on hard at time. Like it's my time, yeah. Yeah, hop out in that luxury. Yeah, all black, can't nobody fuck with me. Yeah, yeah, nigga know it's so me. Got on red bottles when I stuck, they call me Bloody King. Yeah, yeah, I done got another ring. Bitch, I already fuck, like, what the fuck you mean? I got my whole fuck bae team yeah. Bitch gon' suck this dick, don't leave me waiting Livin' lavish, bitch on top floor Think three on the bottom down here Now, let me see which one is the one There's three screws at the bottom down here You guys, one right here Gonna be one up in here And one down there Ten millimeters I think them tens let me see. Yep, them tens. Dang, I broke it already. Broke them up. Dang. There's boat. Other one. In here. Alright, y'all. We took all the screws out the bottoms. So, the, got to get them right there. As y'all see, got to get them. Go back on to that side. I know I keep flopping back and forth, y'all, but you know, it's all good. So this should just pop out just like the rest. There we go. Uh, one bolt right there. And that should be it, Jack. One bolt right here. Just like butter, baby. Just like butter, baby. That should be ready to come out. I know it's some more stuff plugged up in the back that I'm gonna have to unplug. Uh, got the ground wire right here. And some clips in the back right here. It go clip, take this off. It goes to the outside. How you take the damn clips off? I know you just hold on, bro. God dang. That tight. Alright, I'll unplug them. That's connected to the dash. That can stay. Uh, it's ground wire. 
It's ground wire. It's a ground wire. Right up in here is a ground wire. By the other boat. Now, see if we can get that off. I don't know what millimeter it is, but. Call it not a seven though. No, it's not definitely not a seven. Maybe a 10. Yep, that's a 10. And we gotta take all the stuff out the fuse box too. So we're gonna have to undo the fuse box. It got a couple bolts and stuff up in there. All right. I think this uh, emergency brake is still hooked up. Push that back. Oh, I didn't push that back. Unhook this emergency brake. release the mercy break now this is gonna be critical because as y'all see I got a Dakota digital dash in here and I don't want to mess it up because I'm putting it back so like I said it's still a lot more wires and stuff hooked up on this side so I gotta get up under there and get all that stuff oh it's a lot of other stuff under here alright take that power wires out uh, alright it's two sevens in there. let me get them two sevens out Alright y'all man, so I just dislocated everything that I needed to from the fuse box and pulled it out, which, um, uh, I don't know what's holding it in right now, it would be better if I had two people so I can see real good. I see what it is. It's right there. That's where all them big wires is. Digital. I'm gonna have to pop that. That's what it is, y'all. It's a lot of zip ties back here. A lot of zip ties.
Yo, it's a lot of stupid shit hooked up that I didn't know about. That's like out the market. So I don't know if your factor ones you gonna go through all this like I'm going through. Yours probably just come on out. All right, man. I gotta get over here and concentrate. Let's see what else is back here. So many zip ties and stuff. Y'all, I'm getting my ass handed to me right now. Fuck, man. It's like, damn. I got every single thing unplugged as it should. Dang man, there's so many extra wires in here. And I know them all go to the Dakota Digital. It's like, damn. All right, let me go up under there, man. Let me get to the bottom of this. Uh, whatever it is, is behind there. That's the part that don't want to come loose. All the other wires is just wires, man. Shit. Man, let me take this off. Screw back here. Shit, it is. One eternity later. All right, y'all. I think we almost got it. Bro, when I tell y'all, this shit literally killed me. This shit killed me. I think I got it all. It was so hard to get to them. It's, it's, it's some harnesses on the top of the steering column that you gotta get to. It's so many plugs and wires. And then by they having that Dakota Digital, they did it so sloppy. So I, I'm thinking about just, man, totally just rewiring this car. Really try to figure it out on my own. Cause this is, oh my God, this done to kill me. I don't even know if it's coming out now. So we finna try it. This is the last shot. <laughs> yeah, it came out. Oh, it's still some wires though. Okay, still one wire on the other side. This, um, completely done for the night. Yeah, this one wire. Man, I didn't get this bug off. That's what been killing me, y'all, trying to figure out how to get the clips off. Some clips, oh my God. Still some more left. Golly. Can't be. Tweeters and shit. Don't gotta want the old ass tweeters. Get that shit out of here. Damn. One more wire on this damn Dakota Digital, man. Sloppiest job I ever seen on that, man. Dakota Digital. Ah, oh, one last wire. Cut that in this wrap. See what it's running to. It's going. 
outside. Let me see what it's going to real quick. All right, y'all, pull it on out. Come on, man. Why are you tangled up everywhere? Dash is out. So, man, as y'all see, man, we officially got the dash out. Man, I, I'm sorry, you guys, man, about all the technical difficulties, but, man, it's so much going on in this car. So many wires. It's just crazy. So, y'all know I'm doing the LS swap on here, but I'm running the regular dash still. So, I ain't going to just completely destroy the car but most of the wires that you see i'm gonna clean it up a little bit man it's just it looks so bad and terrible and everything just bunched all together and stuff so i'm definitely gonna clean everything up wire everything back myself man you gotta learn you gotta try sometime you know i'm going with vintage air so i ain't gonna need none of that stuff right there i ain't gonna too much mess with it until the part come in I've, I ordered the plate to delete the uh, AC from right there until it get in. We're going to be working on taking the front end and all this stuff apart. Like, we finna completely strip this car. We finna destroy it before it come back new again. We literally, y'all, I'm hot. I got this light on. Let me turn this thing off. Got the dash out. It's right there. We're going to try to repair the dash ourselves, and then I just get it wrapped. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow morning, man, so um, we can go over everything. In the daytime, catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. The next day. All right, you guys, checking back in, man. Early, early in the morning. Well, it's not early in the morning. It's kind of late in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm just getting up, though. But, uh, yeah, so we came out here so I can finish up everything, finish going over everything with you guys. Make sure you guys, if y'all haven't got y'all tickets for the 300 SRT bill, make sure y'all do that. We do have a ticket sale going on right now. $35 get you 300 tickets. You definitely don't want to miss that. So, y'all see it. We end up getting the dash out. As y'all see, we got a lot, long way to go. But this don't scare me, you guys. This don't scare me. When I first bought this car, I bought this car because it would have gave me an unlimited amount of content when I first got it. But I end up losing my spirit for it once the guy end up sitting it up for two years and stuff at his shop, man, when he was doing the floor pan. So after he done the floor pans, he's supposed to been wiring up all the lights and the headlights and all that type stuff. So, which he did do. And he done that over now, which I think some of those wires was for the headlights and stuff like that but we got them hooked up to the front and we got the back ones working we got all the lights and everything side markers everything working so uh other than that man we're gonna get the stripping this thing apart i know i did actually was building it up and i wasn't gonna take it back apart because everything was already together but since he ended up doing that it just made me want to go further and further and dealt with trying to get this car back together and get it uh even better than what i probably would expect so we're gonna take our time with it and we're gonna do it the right way and um um, the only way and that's my way you know what i'm talking about so yeah man make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more of the colors build i do have to go out of town to memphis rush out of town because uh we had a death in it in the family um somebody that's real close to me we're gonna head down there sucks man but that's how life do i kind of been down about it and i can't I, I haven't really talked to anybody about it yet but i just want to say i appreciate everybody man uh, we go through things, but we go through things together, and we're going to always be there for one another. But like I said, subscribe to real to real number two. That's my second channel. That's my POV channel. I did drop a video on it. Uh, well, I've been dropping videos on it every week. So make sure you guys go over there. Make sure you subscribe to that channel too. And like I say, hit the link down in the description or hit the link in the comment section pinned so you can guys can get entered for the 300 SRT bill, man. And y'all already know, man, when we come back, we're going crazy with it. Revealing the paint, putting the wheel 
wheels on. We're doing everything, and we're still going to be working on the cutlass, too. But y'all see, man, got the whole full dash out, and we're going to build that dash back up by ourselves. We're not going to let nobody slow us down no more. Nobody. Only we can slow ourselves down now. Everything out, I ain't scared of this. I ain't scared of them wires. I ain't scared of none of that. Used to back in the day, I'd be scared of stuff like that, but now I'm not. Make sure y'all support the channel and hit the like button and subscribe right now if y'all want to keep moving on with the colors build and y'all want to see the box Chevy build because the box Chevy going out of town probably once I get back also and go ahead and get the suspension work done so I can get them 28s bolted up. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Y'all already know what time it is. Your boy Retro Real. Hey man, say man. Hey man, it's your boy man. Retro Real. Man, hit the like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Go ahead and bust it down. I'm out of here like last year. Peace. Uh -huh. My coat too fast, police didn't see me.